Bond Court is a free service, but it takes several hours of my time every day. Less than 10% of Bond Court viewers hit the like button, and less than 1% leave a comment. If you want Bond Court to continue to be available on YouTube for free, then please hit the like button and leave a comment on all of my videos. Come on, sir, can you tell me your name? Jim Lafferty. Sir, are you here in case 2021, 22MM. 1101AO on charge of trespass on property after warning. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. State, was there an offer that you wanted to extend to Mr. Lafayette? Lafayette is it Lafayette or Lafayette? Lafferty. Lafferty, Mr. Lafferty. Your Honor, um, we have not been able to contact the victim in this case. Um, it's kind of, is this a trespass? trespass? I forgot the first word, this trespass offense. Where was the trespass? Oh, I forgot. Oh, sorry. All right, it seems to be a retail. Is that what you guys are resolving these cases without that at retail location? Yes, yeah, so we set a bond, Your Honor. All right. Your Honor. The court's going to extend an uh, offer to you, adjudication of guilt, credit time served. Do you want to take that offer from this yeah. court? All right, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, yeah, Your Honor. Can you put your hand down? Sir? Madam Public Defender, can you help the court out and just start filling out some yes, of these pleadable forms? Once you're done, Mr. Rapp, for these pleadable cases, mm -hmm. so when we get to them, we can mm -hmm. roll through. Ms. Lafayette, people are sorry. You're here on charge of trespass on property after warning in case 2022-MM1102 AO. That is a first degree misdemeanor. Punishable to one year in the county jail and a thousand dollar fine. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to resolve this case? No contest. If you understand about entering a plea of no contest, you're going to waive all the rights on the plea form that's in front of you. Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? Yes. What was that mental health illness? Bipolar. Are you taking any medications for your bipolar no. disorder? Are you suffering from the symptoms of your bipolar disorder at this moment? No. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No. You understand about entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen and could subject you to deportation? Yes, Your Honor. I did review the charging affidavit in this case. I did find a factual basis contained therein for the purpose of entering your plea. I accept your plea of no contest. Find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'll adjudicate you guilty of the charge. Give you credit for the two days you spent in Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs in this case are 200 and cost of prosecution are $273. I'll give you one year from today's date. Oh, do you have that? Am I still giving one year or do you have to report to the? One year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk. Okay, Your Honor. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. But interpreters are in there? All right. We'll do, well, Mr. Bingo's already in the store. Right. As Mr. Brumfield, we're going to jump back to Osceola. It seems like our interpreters are available now. All right. Good afternoon, sir. I'm oh, sorry. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good afternoon, my Brumfield. Mr. Brumfield, you're here in case 2020 MM1103 AO on charge of trespass on property after warning. Did review the charging affidavit in this case. It did find probable cause for your arrest. So was an offer you wanted to extend to Mr. Brumfield? Uh, Your Honor, an adjudication of guilt and court costs and credit for time served. No return to the scene, Your Honor. All right. Sir, do you want to accept an offer from the state of Florida for an adjudication of guilt, credit time served? 
Did you want to accept the offer from the state of Florida, which is an adjudication of guilt, credit for the time you spent in the Orange County Jail? Does court costs and costs of prosecution in that matter? Do you want to accept that offer? If you accept it and resolve it, you'll be able to get out today. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Please tell me swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter. It's the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I'm here. You can put your hand down, sir. So the charge you're facing is trespass on property after warning. That is a first-degree misdemeanor. It's punishable to one year in the county jail and a $1,000 fine. Um, <clears throat> you understand that, sir? Yeah. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to resolve this case? Contest. You understand why Aaron plea of no contest, you're waiving all your rights on the plea form that you're about to sign. Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? Yes. What was that mental health illness? Schizophrenia. Are you taking any medication for your schizophrenia? Those medications help you understand the world around you? Yes. Are you suffering from any symptoms of your schizophrenia at this moment? No. Has anybody forced, threatened, or forced you to enter this plea? No. You understand about entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen? Could it subject you to deportation? Yes. I did have an opportunity to review your charging affidavit, so I did find a factual basis contained therein. I'll accept your plea of no contest, finds your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'll Adjudicate you guilty of the charge. Give you credit for. Everybody know how many days he has? Just be able to point these dates. Two days in Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs, cost of prosecution in this case are $273. I'll give you one year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. You have a great day, sir. No return to the scene, Your Honor. Say again? No return to the scene. I usually don't order that because I don't have any real jurisdiction over him once I, he walks out this door. So. Again, yeah. now it's after eleven at this point. Picking up. Let's try this one more time. Your Honor, I apologize. Were you trying to get in touch with us? Yeah, I'm trying Good to morning. get my interpreters on. There we go. Good morning, Your Honor. This is Laura Bretaña, Spanish interpreter. No, um, the interpreter has not been sworn. <laughs> All right, my interpreter, could you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Yes. You saw me swear affirm. You have tr like translated from English to Spanish and Spanish to English to the best of your ability, so help you God. Yes, I do. Laura Bretaña, Spanish interpreter. All righty. Man, I'm interpreter, I need your help. The first case I need your help with is Hakwin. Hey, Lee, Hakwin. Present and approaching, Your Honor. Good morning, ma'am. Buenos dias, señora. Buenos dias. Good morning. Can you tell me your name, please? Señora, por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Hailing Juliet Harkin. Hailing Juliet Harkin. Juliet. Juliet. Ms. Harkin, you're here in case to the, in, uh, oh, sorry, an Osceola County case on a charge of battery. Señora, señora, ¿quién se encuentra aquí ante una acusación de agresión física? 
I did review the charging affidavit. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. We're going to set your bond in this case in the amount of $1,500. Se fija fianza en este caso por la cantidad de $1,500. dólares. addition to your bond is you have no contact with the victim. I need you to maintain a separate residence from the victim and not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Como condición de su puesta en libertad bajo fianza, se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima, se le prohíbe la convivencia con la víctima y se le prohíbe la tenencia de todo tipo de armas y armas de fuego. De tener usted algún tipo de arma o arma de fuego, deberá entregarla a las autoridades en un plazo de 24 horas luego de ser puesta en libertad. Se le permitirá regresar en una ocasión acompañada de las autoridades para recoger cualquier pertenencia que pueda tener en el lugar del ilícito. Se ha designado el abogado de oficio para que les represente, señora, que tenga buen día. Gracias. Me siento con aplicación y yo la voy a ayudar, ¿ok? Right. I the next I have is President approaching. Sorry, Jimenez, really. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Buenos días, señor. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Roberto Jiménez Reyes. Roberto Jiménez Reyes. Mr. Roberto Jiménez Reyes, you're here for three cases for violation of probation for community control. The first case is 2020 CF 3063. The next case is 2020 CF 2588. And the next case is 2020 CF 2586. Señor Roberto Jiménez Reyes, eh, usted se encuentra aquí ante una acusación de incumplimiento con el régimen de libertad vigilada y de incumplimiento con las condiciones de reclusión domiciliaria en los siguientes, en los siguientes casos. 2020 CF 2586, 2020 CF 363 y 2020 CF 2588. Sir, in the warrant signed for your violation of probation or community control, the bond is no bond. It's going to remain at no bond. Señor, la orden de arresto que se emitió en su contra por haber incumplido con las condiciones del régimen de libertad vigilada y las condiciones de la reclusión domiciliaria no se le concedió fianza, así que se impone prisión preventiva. We're going to appoint the public defender to represent you in your cases. You se designa, se designa la abogada de oficio para que les represente en sus casos. Que tenga buen día, señor. Se pusieron, no son tres casos separados y en cada caso te está una fianza. Porque esa fue la fianza que te puso el juez que firmó el guarante. ¿Ya? And Tizep. Maybe. Señorita Tizep. President approaching, Your Honor. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Buenos días, señora. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Eva Z. Porchard. Eva Z. Porchard. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you're here on an Osceola County case for charges of battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit. In this case, I did find probable cause for your arrest. Señora, usted se encuentra aquí ante una acusación de agresión física por violencia doméstica. Habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad. Does she qualify, PTR? No, ten, no tengo la hoja de ella. ¿Cumple ella con los requisitos de la libertad provisional? No, su señoría. All right, ma'am. I'm going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,500. Condition of your bond is you have no contact with the victim. Muy bien, señor. Entonces se fija fianza en este caso por la cantidad de $1,500. Y como condición se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima. 
or that you maintain a separate residence from the victim. Se le prohíbe la convivencia con la víctima. I give you one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. Usted podrá regresar en una ocasión acompañada de las autoridades para recoger sus pertenencias. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Se le prohíbe la tenencia de todo tipo de armas y armas de fuego. De tener usted algún tipo de arma o arma de fuego, deberá entregarla a las autoridades en un plazo de 24 horas luego de ser puesta en libertad. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you, ma'am. You have a great day. Se designa al abogado de oficio para que la represente, señora, que tenga buen día. Thank you, Your Honor. That Thank concludes you. Osceola. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Yes, ma'am. You have a great day. You too. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, Madam Interpreter, you're going to hold on with me because we're going to do something here in Orange County. Okay. All righty. Hey, can we lower this one? All right. Gonna, Madam Interpreter, can we go and switch to the headsets? Can we make sure you can connect? There is contact, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Yo me llamo Eliseo Diaz Diaz. My name is Eliseo Diaz Diaz. And sir, are you here in case? 2022 MM1121AO on charges of battery domestic violence and criminal mischief. I did review the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Uh -huh. No, I'm sure you get this new score thing. C score is zero, so does it not qualify for PTR? Uh. Okay. All right, sir. I want to set your bond in count one in amount of one thousand dollars. Count two, five hundred dollars. Condition of your bond is you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Okay, igualmente, muchas gracias. Okay, you as well. Thank you very much. Honor. The interpreter needs a victim as well? All right. Madam Interpreter, I need your assistance with both the defendant and the victim, so if you can stay on the overhead for me. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Buenos días, señor. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Ahmed Musul. Ahmed Musul. Sir, you're here in case 2022-MM1116-AO on charges of battery domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you, sorry, sorry, ma'am, I forgot. He doesn't have the headsets on. Muy bien, señor. Usted se encuentra aquí ante la acusación 22MM1116. Se le acusa de agresión física por violencia doméstica. Habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad. Señora, buenos días. Buenos días. Good morning. Can you tell me your name? Dígame, por favor, su nombre completo. Luz y Sol Pérez de Hernández. Luz y Sol Pérez de Hernández. Ma'am, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Señora, por favor, levante la mano derecha para prestar juramento. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter? Is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Jura y promete que el testimonio que va a prestar será la verdad, solamente la verdad y nada más que la verdad. ¿Lo jura ante Dios? Sí, señor. Yes, sir. Can you put your hand down. Gracias, puede bajar la mano. Ma'am, can you tell me how you know the defendant in this case? Señora, por favor, dígame, ¿de qué conoce usted al acusado de este caso? Nos conocemos hace cinco años, llevamos casados un año y 
vivimos juntos, pero separados porque la casa está separada. Eh, desde hace un tiempo prudente, él viene presentando eh, eh, problemas de, de decirme palabras obscenas, ofenderme, ofender a mis hijos, ofender incluso hasta la novia de mi, de, de mi hijo. Ok, señora, por favor, permítame interpretar. Uh, we've known each other for five years and we have been married for one. Uh, we live together, but we are separated inside the house because the house is divided. And for some time, we have been having problems because he has been insulting me and offending me. He also does this to my children and even to my son's girlfriend. Proceda. All right, ma'am, do you want to have contact with the defendant while this case is pending? Señora, mientras este caso esté abierto, ¿usted desea tener contacto con el acusado? No, señora. No, sir. And are you the victim of the prior domestic violence history in this case? En este caso, ¿ha habido antecedentes o otros incidentes de violencia doméstica anterior a este? Sí, señora. Yes, sir. All right. The state, do you have any questions for the witness? La fiscalía tiene alguna pregunta para la testigo. One question, Your Honor, um, to the victim. Ma'am, are you afraid for your life or do you fear the defendant? Tengo una pregunta para la víctima, su señoría. Señora, ¿usted le teme al acusado o teme por su vida? Sí, porque él eh, a, a la pareja anterior ya le había amenazado con que si no se iban de la casa, quemaba el móvil home. Y me lo ha dicho sutilmente, pero me lo ha dicho también. Yes, because uh, the last partner he had, he threatened her with burning the mobile home down and he has uh, suggested this to me. Sir, I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. Hallelujah. Counsel, you have any questions for the witness? Señor, voy a designar el abogado de oficio para que les represente. Licenciada, ¿tiene usted alguna pregunta para la testigo? Nothing further, Your Honor. Nada más, su señoría. All right, sir, I'm going to set your bond in this case in amount of $3,000. Condition of your bond that you to have no contact with the victim in this case. Señor, se fija fianza en este caso por la cantidad de tres mil dólares y como condición de esta fianza se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima de este caso. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. Se le prohíbe la convivencia con la víctima. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. Se le concederá regresar en una ocasión acompañado de las autoridades para recoger las pertenencias que pueda usted tener allí. You may not possess any weapons or firearms in this case. Se le prohíbe la eh, tenencia de todo tipo de armas y armas de fuego. You also may not possess any accelerants. También se le prohíbe la tenencia de acelerantes de incendio. Any weapons, firearms, or accelerants need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Si usted está en posesión de algún arma, arma de fuego o algún acelerante, tendrá que entregarlo a las autoridades en un, paso de, en un plazo de 24 horas luego de ser puesto en libertad. Are you appointed the public defender to represent you? Do you have any questions about your no contact order? Se ha designado a la abogada de oficio para que les represente. ¿Tiene usted alguna pregunta acerca de la orden de prohibición de contacto? No le escucho, señor. ¿Sí o no? No. Abide by my orders. Have a great day. Cumpla mis órdenes, señor. Que tenga buen día. Do the both parties need to interpret? The victim does not need. Right. Sir, do you need the service of the Spanish interpreter? No, uh, English, Spanish, please. Try you. All right, Madam Interpreter, I think we're gonna have, we have a two victim and the victim needs the interpreter as well. Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Buenos días, señor. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Pablo Restrepo. Restrepo. All right. 
Tell me your name. Do you need the service of a Spanish interpreter? Señor, usted dígame el nombre. ¿Necesita los servicios del intérprete al español? Sí. sí. Right. Yes. I'm going to talk to the defendant first, and then, sir, I will want to address you. Okay? Primero voy a hablar con el acusado, y señor, luego hablaré con usted. Correcto. Right. So, sir, please tell me your name. Así que entonces, señor, por favor, dígame su nombre completo. A ver, Steven Rivera Restrepo. Abel Steven Rivera Restrepo. Abel Steven Rivera Restrepo, sí, señor. Abel Steven Rivera Restrepo. Sir, are you here at case 2022-MM1109 AO on charge of battery domestic violence? Did review the charging affidavit in your case and did find probable cause for your arrest? Muy bien, señor, usted se encuentra aquí ante la acusación 22MM1109. Se le acusa de agresión física por violencia doméstica, habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio. Determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. And good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name and how you're related to Mr. Rivera Respo? Muy bien, señor, entonces, por favor, dígame su nombre completo y qué relación tiene usted con el señor Rivera Restrepo. Mi nombre es Danilo Medina Restrepo y Father Steven Rivera es mi hijo. My name is Danilo Medina Restrepo and he is my son. Right. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Señor, por favor, levante la mano derecha para prestar juramento. Be solemn and swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, not but the truth, help you God. Pure promete que el testimonio que va a prestar será la verdad, solamente la verdad y nada más que la verdad. Sí. Yes. All right, so you can put your hand down. You told me that this is your son. Do you want to have contact with him? Muy bien, señor. Entonces, puede bajar la mano. Usted me dijo que él es su hijo. ¿Usted desea tener contacto con él? Eh, sí. Yes. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Entre ustedes dos anteriormente, ¿habían ocurrido otros incidentes de violencia doméstica? Mm, muy pocos. Just a few. When was the most recent one prior to today's date? Antes de la fecha de hoy, ¿cuál fue el incidente más reciente? ¿Cuándo fue, perdón? Venga, venga, pero estoy confundido. Quiero que me repita nuevamente la pregunta que respondí, porque no entendí la pregunta cuando usted me hizo la pregunta. I'm so sorry, I am confused. I would like for you to uh, repeat the question that I already answered because I'm not sure I understood. The first question I asked you was, do you want to have contact with your son? Señor, la primera pregunta que le hice fue si usted desea tener contacto con su hijo. Sí. Yes. The next question I asked you, was there a prior incidence of domestic violence between you and him in the past? La segunda pregunta que le hice fue si habían habido o si han ocurrido incidentes previos de violencia doméstica entre usted y su hijo. Antes no. Before, no. Right. Is this the first incident then? Así que entonces, este es el primer incidente. Correcto. Correct. I saw that alcohol played a role. Did any other drugs or narcotics play a role in this incident? Yo veo aquí que el alcohol tuvo algo que ver en este suceso. Dro ¿Las drogas tuvieron algo que ver también? No. No. Alcohol. Only alcohol. State, do you have any questions for the witness? La fiscalía tiene alguna pregunta para el testigo. Same question, Your Honor. Um, sir, are you afraid or in fear of your son? La misma pregunta, su señoría. Señor, ¿usted le teme a su hijo? No. No. Nothing further, Your Honor. No tengo más preguntas, su señoría. Sir, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. May I, counsel, do you have any questions for the witness? Señor, se designa el abogado de oficio para que les represente. Licenciada, ¿tiene usted alguna pregunta para el testigo? Nothing further from the state. Nada más de parte de la fiscalía. No, Your Honor. Um, no, su señoría. I do want to make an argument. Um, I see that he doesn't qualify for pretrial release. Um, however, he scored zero. He has no convictions, um, either in Florida or outside of Florida. Okay, so is he entitled to non-monetary bond? Yes, Your Honor. When? Bueno, yo quisiera presentar el siguiente argumento, argumento y es que él no cumplió con los requisitos de la libertad provisional, pero él no tiene antecedentes penales alguno, ni en el estado de la Florida, ni en ninguna otra parte. En la hoja de cálculo, la puntuación de él fue cero. Así que entonces él cumple con los requisitos de una fianza que no conlleve 
eh, cantidad económica, sí. Let me rephrase my question. Are people charged with dangerous crimes in the state of Florida entitled to non-monetary bond? Déjeme refrasear la pregunta. A las personas a las cuales se le acusan de este tipo de delito en Florida, tienen derecho a que se le asigne una fianza que no sea eh, económica. I understand, Your Honor. Eso lo entiendo, su señoría. All right, sir, we're going to set your bond in this case an amount of $1,000, condition of your bond that you have no hostile contact with your father. Muy bien, señor. Entonces se fija fianza en este caso por la cantidad de mil dólares. Como condición de la fianza, se prohíbe la hostilidad entre usted y su padre. No hostile contact means this. You can disagree with your father. You can have arguments with him. However, those arguments cannot become violent. They cannot become threatening. They cannot come to the point where anybody's going to call law enforcement. Señor, déjeme explicarle lo que significa que se prohíbe la hostilidad entre usted y su padre. Usted, usted puede estar en desacuerdo con su padre, puede tener discusiones con su padre, pero estos desacuerdos o discusiones no se pueden tornar violentos. No pueden haber amenazas entre ustedes. No puede ser una situación que haga que alguien llame al 911. Because if somebody sees or hears you are arguing or your, your father calls law enforcement, you will be arrested. Porque si alguien los ve a ustedes discutiendo o los escucha discutiendo y llama a las autoridades o si su padre llama a las autoridades, usted irá a la cárcel. Estaría usted en incumplimiento con mis órdenes y se impondrá prisión preventiva. Se le prohíbe la tenencia de todo tipo de armas y armas de fuego, de estar usted en posesión de algún tipo de arma o arma de fuego, tendrá que entregarla a las autoridades en un plazo de 24 horas luego de ser puesto en libertad. Se le prohíbe la tenencia o consumo de drogas o alcohol sin receta. Mientras usted se encuentre en libertad de este caso, estará sujeto a que se le realicen pruebas aleatorias de drogas y alcohol. You have a great day, sir. Que tenga buen día, señor. Thank you. All right, Madam Interpreter, we're going to switch back to the overheads, I think, at this point. Ma'am, do you need service of the Spanish interpreter? No, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Josué Torres y Torres. Josué Torres y Torres. Sir, you're here in case 2022-MM1098 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed a charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Ma'am, can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Sylvia M. Gonzalez, G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z. -E okay. And can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Sure. You saw me swear affirm the testimony you're giving is matters of truth, the whole truth, and all but the truth, so help you God. I do. Ma'am, can you tell me how you're related to Mr. Torres? Uh, we are on and off on and off boyfriend and girlfriend that I just came to um, first apologize for wasting the court's time. Let me get through my questions and that'll kind of help me understand what I need to do and then I'll give you a chance to speak. All right. Do you want to have contact with Mr. Torres? Yes, sir. Has there been a previous instance of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? Alcohol did. Say, you have any questions for the witness? Am I you in fear of the defendant? No. You're not afraid of him? No, sir. Is this the first time that this event occurs? Yes, ma'am. Um, if it happens again, will you call law enforcement officer? Definitely. Nothing further, ma'am. All right, Mr. Torres, Torres, I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you in this case. Uh, counsel, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. 
All right, madam, you're going to tell me something. But yeah, no, I just wanted to get all your concerns answered. No, no concern. I just wanted to, I would, wanted to say that I didn't want to press charges, and I apologize for the court's time. Well, yeah. It's not, it's not my time. It's, I'll, yeah. <laughs> you know, I get to stay here and serve the people. That's what I do. Yeah. Um, but as to whether the charges are going to be pressed, that's up to the state of Florida, uh, okay. whether they're going to pursue charges in this case. But as Mr. Torres, Torres, I'm going to set your bond in this case in my $250. It's going to cover pretrial release supervision. You're going to have no hostile contact with the victim in this case. No hostile contact means this. You may have disagreements with the victim in this case. Those disagreements, you may not like everything that's going on in your relationship. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot turn threatening. There can be no abusive language used between the two of you. Because no matter whether she calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing calls law enforcement, you will be arrested. You spend a lot of time here with me at the Orange County Jail on a no bond status. You understand that? Yes. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol while you're out on release in this case. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. You have a great day, sir. You have a great day, ma'am. You too, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Said this is another one. You want to pull out? Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jose Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez, you're here in case 2022-MM1102-AO 2000 on charge of trespass on property after warning. They reviewed a charging affidavit in your case. It did find probable cause for your arrest. So was there an offer that you wanted to extend to Mr. Rodriguez? Adjudication of guilt and court costs. Mr. Rodriguez, did you want to accept the offer from the state of Florida of an adjudication of guilt credit for the time you spent in Orange County Jail and this court cost and cost of prosecution in this case? <laughs> See, no. Yes. All right. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Be solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. 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 You put your hand down, sir. Sir, the charge you're facing in this case is a second, first degree misdemeanor. It's punishable up to one year in the county jail and a thousand dollar fine. Do you understand that? You gonna speak up? Yes. All right, there we yes. Go. Do you want to hear a plea of guilty or no contest in this case? No contest. You understand by hearing a plea of no contest? You're gonna waive all the rights on the plea form is in front of you. Yes. Are you under influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. No. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? No. No. Has anybody forced, threatened, or forced you to enter this plea? No. No. Don't say about entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen. It could subject you to deportation from this country. Yes. Yes. I did have an opportunity for you to view a charging affidavit in this case, so I did find a probable a factual basis for your plea. 
I accept your plea of no contest, finds your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of the charge, give you credit for the two days you spent in the Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs and costs of prosecution in this case are $273. I'll give you one year from today's date to uh, uh, pay that money directly to the clerk, give you 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. You have a great day, sir. And Daniel or Eduardo, I guess is our last one. All right, Madam Interpreter, we got one more as soon as that way. You need a break. Madam Interpreter, you need a break or are you? No, no, I'm okay. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, good morning. Go your headsets, please. Who, oh, the victim needs this. Who needs this? Let me take this. Oh, okay. All right, I guess the victim in the case needs an interpreter, Madam Interpreter. Sir, can you tell me your name? Daniel Edwards. Señor, por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Tell me your name. Daniel Edward. Is it Eduardo or is it Edward? It's Edward. Es Eduardo o Edward? Edward. Oh, I was going to make sure we're still speaking to the right person. All right. You know, your last name, because it's spelled Eduardo, so I'm like... Oh, it's, it's spelled E-D-O-U-A-R-D, correct? Yeah. 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 Edward. Okay. It's just spelled in French. Ah. I'm unfamiliar. So. Thank you for educating me. All right. Sir, you're here on case 2022-MM1107-AO on charge of battery dating violence. Señor, eh, usted se encuentra aquí ante la acusación 2022-MM. 1107 se le acusa de agresión física por violencia doméstica. I did review the charging affidavit in this case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio de este caso, determino que existen indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Buenos días, señora. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo y deletre su apellido. I don't need an interpreter. Um, it's okay. Ronnie Campbell. Wait, does anybody... Is anybody else out? Let's make sure. Madam Interpreter, can you make an announcement that been in the gallery see if anybody needs your assistance? Alguna de las personas que permanezcan aquí presentes necesitan los servicios del intérprete al español. All right, I don't see anybody in the gallery. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Or, well, I'll hear you tomorrow, Madam Interpreter. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a great weekend. Well, uh, 10 o'clock, if I could. Do you want to start at 10 a.m.? Yeah, if I could, start at 10 a.m. tomorrow so we can enjoy our Sunday afternoon with... You know, with family, and you want um, to with me. I'm going to, well, anyway, uh, you are the, the judge that also attending juveniles, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pass your message along, and then you receive an answer at the juvie hearing, because I don't know if there's any other way we can reach you before that. You can always email me, but um, also there, yeah, so I'll be okay. at juvenile at 8 o'clock, and then I was trying to start here at the BRC at 10. Okay, perfect. I'll I'll let my supervisor know. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. All right. Sorry for that. Can you tell me your name, please? Uh, Imani Campbell. That's C A M P B E L L. Miss Campbell, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Please solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. I do. You put your hand down, ma'am. Ma'am, can you tell me how you know Mr. Edward? Oh, uh, he's my ex. We broke up on Valentine's Day. All right. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? No. Were you the subject or the victim in the prior domestic battery cases I see in his history? Yes. When were those cases? When was the most recent in one of those cases? Um, like when was the most recent incident or yes, the most, most recent case? Most recent case. Um, I forgot what day, but it was a it was like a few months ago. Okay. Like sometime in November. Yeah. And as you said, I'm guessing there was a, is there another incident between November and now? Oh, yeah. Okay. All oh. right. State, do you have any questions for the witness? Ms. Campbell, are you afraid or do you fear, are you in fear for your life? No. Do you, are you afraid of the defendant? No. Nothing further, Your Honor. Ma'am, one more question. Did drugs and alcohol play any role in this incident? No. Okay. Sir, I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Counsel, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Yeah. Mr. Edward, in this case, is going to set your bond in amount of, <sighs> say, he qualifies for PTR? Yeah. 
in amount of $2,000 condition, so, subject to pretrial release conditions, that's, that's $2,000 with BTR, that you condition you have no contact with the victim in this case. You all share a residence still? Yes. All right. I'll give you, uh, you must maintain a separate residence from the victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Do you have any questions about your no contact order, sir? Yes. Your no contact order? Yes. All right. What kind um, of questions so you have? I have furniture there, so. Uh, no, so no con so your, your return is for a go bag, personal items. When you call law enforcement and they go with you to the, sh to the place where you guys reside together, they're going to let you get personal items. If you show up with a U-Haul, they're just going to leave. And then they, if you stay there, they're going to arrest you. I have one more question? <clears throat> yes, sir. Can I send somebody else to get my furniture? I, was, I would. You talk to your attorney about that, but I'd probably counsel you against that. Because the condition, if you register no contact order, it says no contact, no third-party contact. So you may be in violation of the order. I don't know. Just letting you know. So... You may, so I, this is a situation you have to resolve, maybe with a, with a special set date with, a, with, Mr., with Judge Wayne Shoemaker, who's a division judge in this case, and then he can craft a better plan. But for now, you get the return one time, you get your personal items, toothbrush, work clothes, tools, et cetera, whatever you need to go to work and live. But if you're trying to move the TVs and furniture, and you're right now, you're probably going to get arrested. Yep, go ahead. So my, there, we, we have a roommate. He can, he, he's allowed to obviously enter the residence. He can move furniture. I can't, I'm not going to return, but he can move furniture. Once again, you should talk to your attorney, but I'm telling you now, you probably counsel you against that. Because this is the incident that's going to happen. She's going to come there and say, why are you moving all my stuff? And he's going to say, because Edward told me to do it. And then that's going to be a violation of my order. Because he's having third con part contact, give him telling her about what she told what what she told you. So just telling you, I would counsel you against it. But you should maybe want to talk to your attorney, get in front of Judge Wayne Shoemaker on a special set motion, and you can craft it maybe a longer time for you to be there where she's not gonna be there, so you can get specific items that you all agreed to at that time. So I don't know what you guys if you bought this couch together or bed or TV or whatever, I don't know. I'm just saying, so you need to get with the judge, Judge Shoemaker, and figure that out, okay? Okay. Your Honor, did you say bone set at 200 or 2,000? 2,000. Okay. All right, everybody have a great day. Thank you. Okay, now we're back to new books. All right. That's new books. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning. <coughs> My name's Dominic Phillips, Ali Phillips, hyphen Phillips. Uh, what happened to Richard Tesh? Oh, no, I see you, Mr. Phillips. Give me one second, because I had somebody before here, so I just want to miss you. Medical, Your Honor. Medical state, are you continuing on this case? Your Honor, um, which case are you calling? This is Richard Tesh, 2022 MM1112AO, a drug paraphernalia case. What's the last name? I'm sorry, Yana. T E S C H, Tesh. Well, you mean Tish? No, I'm not saying it correctly. I don't know if it was customary while I was here like, a few months ago that you guys are no bill in these cases, but I don't know if that's still going on. Try to get him out of your custody. <laughs> if you want to keep paying for him to be at the hospital, yeah, I will allow that. Bear with me one moment, Your Honor. I'm so sorry. You said that case was 22MM11. I'm sorry. 04. About 22. 11-12. 11-12. Thank you. 
<clears throat> so, Ayo. We would ask for adjudication of guilt, um, credit for time served, um, and court costs. Yeah, she can offer adjudication of guilt, credit time served, but she's not here, right? Lakeisha's in the hospital. Ah, this is one of the uh, the ones that are missing. Yeah, she's in the hospital. My question to you was when I was chairing this division with Judge Gibson somewhere about quarter way through the year, you all started no billing these drug paraphernalia cases. So I was wanting to see if that's what you were intending to do right now. But if not, then I was gonna release the teacher on ROR. I have no objection to an ROR, Your Honor. All right. Well Mr. Rich put the teacher on R release on his own recognizance. I'm gonna appoint the public defender to represent him. Make sure he gets his notice. All right. Mr. Phillips, come on up. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. <clears throat> Tell me your name one more time for the record. Uh, Dominic is my first name, and Ali hyphen Phillips is my last name. Mr. Ali Phillips, you're here in case 2022 CF 1961 AO on a charges of burglary of a dwelling with assault of battery or end, domestic violence, pay theft, and interference with the custody of a minor. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Is there any way I can point the public defender to represent you? Dave, what are you asking that I do as the count one in this case? Um, the state would ask for an adjudication of guilt. No, no, no. We're on Mr. Ali Phillips. I I'm sorry. Charged with a punishable by life offense in count one. Oh. I'm trying to establish whether you're asking me to hold him at no bond or no bond, you're your honor. requesting that I give him a bond. Mm -hmm. I'm appoint no the public defender to represent Mr. Ali Phillips. Counsel, you got any arguments as to that? No, your honor. All right, Mr. Ali Phillips, in this case, unless I don't see any victims in the contact for this case. Yeah, Sir, keep your eyes up here. Don't look over there. I, I I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the gentleman behind you. Yes, sir. All right, sir. If I could briefly speak, because I, I wanted to represent myself. It's literally 30 sir. seconds. All right, I don't know if you heard the, like, the like, couple words into me talking about your case. Count one of your case, you can spend the rest of your life in prison, yes. like the rest of your life. The state of Florida, life is life. There's no parole. There's no getting out early. There's no gain time. If the judge gives you life for that charge, you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Okay? So I don't know if you want to represent yourself in that type of situation. Totally. And this may be a misunderstanding. It's like people, like, which is possible. I don't know. I'm trying to ascertain. Right now, I'm trying to think about because unlike some of these instances where people come in and break, actually break in the house, this seems to have been something that started outside and then ended up inside. So I don't know if it was inside. This once again, not the facts of the case. So okay, just please, like I'm just pleading for thirty seconds. I know that the the possible counsel, you may want to chat with your client. But I I waive I waive that very very quickly. Every month for the last six months, I fly down to Florida every month. This month, and I, my visitation with my daughter has not been, it has been rejected. So this, the seventh month, this month, I told my daughter I was just going to see her. So when I went to the, when I went to the house and I saw my child's mother, which 
Well, first I was supposed to pick my daughter up from school, and my, my child's mother took her out of school that day, so when I went to pick her up, she wouldn't be there. I don't have pre priors of anything. So when I went when I went to her house to say, where is the Omar with my daughter, she closed the garage, and that is where, where I made the mistake, because I put my foot underneath in the garage went back up, and I saw my daughter, and I just said, come on, baby girl, and that was it. And, and she dropped her phone. My, uh, she grabbed my daughter, sat down, her phone dropped. So I picked up the phone, I said, look, I said, Donna, let's just talk. <laughs> so I used that as like a bargaining tool because I just wanted to talk. All right, that's, that's how we feel. It. <laughs> I don't understand how that's assault. Like, I don't think I understand that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all. That's my whole big, that's my piece, man. That's my piece. So. All right, that's how we feel. It's going to set your bond. You're not going to like it. So I'm going to set your bond in the amount of $75,000 as account one. Account two, we're going to set your bond in the amount of $100. Account three, in the amount of $1,000. Condition on the bond, you should have no contact with the victim. You need to maintain a separate residence from the victim. Give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. Don't believe you have it. You don't, you, they told me you don't live there, so you, don't, you may not want to go back. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I already appointed the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Thank you, sir. Here, you know, deserve a little joy. You just taking it away. It's supposed to be sunshine. I got that was, that was the... All right, good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Ahmad Connor. Mr. Connor, you're here. And get your case pulled up. Apologize. Mr. Connor, you're here in 2022 CF 1962AO. Charges in your case of battery, burglary, oh, sorry, battery by strangulation, domestic violence, battery dating violence, and criminal mischief. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. So, was there a victim in this case? Ms. Connor. All right. All right, sir, in count one, going to set your bond in my of $3,500. In count two, $500. Count three, $500. Condition of your bond is you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate residence from this victim. Give you one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have any questions about your no contact order? Um, no, just the bond. Yes. All together. Um, how much is it? Well, all three together. Just it should be four thousand five hundred dollars. If I counted correctly. So ten percent of that. I got to talk to a bondsman about all those kind of things. He's done. Have a great day, sir. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Elias. Tell me your full name. James. Mr. James, you're here in case 2022 CF18310 on charges of kidnapping, domestic violence, aggravated battery, domestic violence, tampering with a witness or hindered communication to law enforcement, and false imprisonment, domestic violence. What you want right there? Can't, I, I just got shot two months ago. I was a victim of a party shooting. I really okay. Well, there's a warrant for your arrest in this case where the judge has already found probable cause for your arrest. I know. I know. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you. Hold on. You, you, sir, 
once again, the state of Florida, I want to ask you, what do you want me to do as a count one, which is a life offense in this case? No bond, Your Honor. Sir, I'm appointed public defender to represent you. Counsel, do you have a response to the state's request? No, Your Honor. All right. Mr. James, we're going to set your bond in count one in the amount of no bond, count two in the amount of $5,000, count three in the amount of $1,000, count four in the amount of $1,000, condition of your bond, that you have no contact with the victim, even from the jail, that you not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be returned to the law enforcement within 24 hours of your release, and you're not to return to the scene of the location where this incident occurred. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, Your Honor. Trey R. Peterson. Mr. Peterson, you're here in case 2022 CF15010 AO on the charges of tampering with a witness, sorry, tampering with a witness and assault domestic violence. Mr. Ward? You all right? All right, let's make sure. All right, sir, you got the judge signed your warrant in this case has already found probable cause for your arrest. As a count one, of course, it's going to set your bond in the amount of $1,500, count two, $500. Condition of the bond, you have no contact with the victim in this case. But you maintain a separate residence from this victim. You'll be one time return with law enforcement if you need it to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. So it seems like you're out on bond in 2021 CF 1158AO as well as 2021 CF 528AO. One second. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Well, you might want to talk to your attorney before you start talking to me. To what I'm saying, so I'll excuse myself. I'm not going to say anything about the case or anything, but I just wanted to say um, that I was just recently incarcerated. I was released within the last two weeks. I absolutely have no idea where this warrant came from. I haven't read an arrest affidavit, and I don't have no idea like what's going on or where did this come from because I was just incarcerated in 33rd Orange County Jail not even two weeks ago. It looks like this happened about two weeks ago, so I'm not sure. Ago? Yeah, on the 4th of February 4th is the date. Paperwork provided me like what um what what's going on like what day this occurred because February fourth is the day it occurred February fourth yes sir uh -huh. all right today is the day sir today is the twenty nineteenth so about mm -hmm. two weeks ago uh, and, and it, is is there any arrest after David like yeah, there's a warrant affidavit there's a warrant for your arrest in this case with affidavit attached it does let me get through this okay okay, okay. all right is there because of that, it seems like there's probable cause that you committed a new law offense while you're out on bond on these other two cases. Of course, going to revoke that bond. Going to set a new bond at zero dollars in those other cases. I believe you already had a public defender appointed to represent you in those cases. Because I, yeah, private attorney. So I'm sorry, and represent one one five eight and five two eight. So um, one more thing, not to keep cutting you off, son. Just um, make it short. So once this is resolved. I can get my bond back on those other cases that I was out on bond on. This is the reason why it's revoked because not necessarily, of, but necessarily no, because it's a different standard. So can you explain that for me, sir, so I can have? A so the law says that if the court finds probable cause that you committed a new law offense, not that you actually committed a new law offense, the court can hold you at no bond. So just because you may, the state of Florida may not file on this case right here that we're here for, the new case, the domestic violence case. Doesn't mean necessarily the judges has to give you a bond on the other case. Okay. And since I got a no contact order, can I know who the victim is? Because the only person that I'm with is Tian B. Lane. So. I'm not going to put their name on the record without them here because they have confidential rights under the Marcy's Law. I so can't we go, you have an attorney that can get you all that information for you, okay? So you got to call the number on the green sheet of paper. and con She's not the attorney for this, this case. So she's just the attorney here for our, my initial appearances. So you got to call that attorney. Or you may have, it's like you have a private attorney in your other cases, so I don't know if you want to hire him for that other case as well. All right, thank you. All right, have a great day. All right. <clears throat>
Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Miss Check, you're here in case 2022-MM1110 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case and did find probable cause for your arrest. It's going to set your bond in this matter amount of $250. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have in any shared residence. I'm going to appoint, sorry, appoint the public defender to represent you. You're also not allowed to possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You have any questions about your no contact order, ma'am? Uh, yes. Was unclear about the order. So it's not n no contact until the court date. Until a, somebody in a black robe that looks like me, either somebody gives you an order from somebody a judge, or as a, you hear a judge in a courtroom say you can have contact. I would so I would err on not having contact until that happens. So he cannot come to the house, or either me or him. You cannot. It's a one way street. You can't have contact with him. Okay. But All right. So, so one. So one you are moving out. I'm moving out. Okay. Or somebody's moving out. Okay. You guys can't live together. You can't have any contact with each other. So somebody, if he's determined that he's going to stay, you can't have contact. You can't go back to the house unless you go with law enforcement. The one time I gave you, you can pick up your personal items, you know, clothes for work, toothbrush, things like that. You pick that up so you can, you know, stay. You got to guys have to stay separate. Okay? All right. Have a great day. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Ma'am, you're here in case 2022-MM113 AO. Sorry, 1113 AO on charges of battery domestic violence. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond in this case amount of $250. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision. You need to have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. Do you have any questions about your no contact order, ma'am? No. All right. You have a great day, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Sean Hunter. Mr. Hunter, you're here in case 2022-MM1117 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed a charging affidavit in this case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Does it qualify? Oh, you know, community ties. I see it now. All right. It's like different now. All right. Sir, we're going to set your bond in this case amount of $1,500. Condition of your bond, you have no contact with the victim. You need to maintain a separate residence from the victim. Give you one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Do you have any questions about your no contact order? All right. You have a great day, sir. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Mm -hmm. Sir, you're here in case 2022-MM1114 AO on charge of battery dating violence. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest.
This one doesn't say. Oh, okay. Here it is. All right, sir, you're going to, sorry, you want to set your bond in this case, the amount of $1,500, condition on your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about your no contact order? Yes, sir. What's the question about your no contact order? Is unclear. I don't think I don't think I should be uh, charged with the, the bond or, or anything because she stole from me and I really did not touch her. She just used her stealing to give to get paid. Okay. By the police, and I really didn't touch her. She stole my money. Well, you need to follow. You, you, I didn't. I didn't do anything. I don't know. I wasn't there. So if you you looking to me to solve a factual dispute, I can't do that right now. I so. really don't have anybody to call to do the bond to give me money, sir. Okay. Well. Stole my money. And I don't have any money. All right. Well, I can't release your non-monetary bond, so you got to get in front of a judge and we got to have a hearing about that. Okay. You have a great day, sir. All right. Good morning, ma'am. I'm sorry. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Ms. Minor Pierre. Ms. Pierre, you're here in case 2022-MM1115 AO on charge of battery dating violence. They reviewed a charging affidavit in this case. They find probable cause for your arrest. You're going to set your bond in this case amount of $250. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision. You're going to have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. If you have a shared residence, I give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Do you have any questions about your no contact order, ma'am? <coughs> you have a great day, ma'am. About your no contact order. No, I don't. All right. You have a great day, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Reynolds. Mr. Reynolds, you're here in case 2022-MM1118AO on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Rudy K. Barnett, B-A-R-N-E-T-T. -T. All right. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Please solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Right. Ma'am, how are you How are you related to Mr. Reynolds? He's my children's father. Right. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? No. Do you have a custody plan or custody time sharing plan by a judge in this case? Um, not at this moment, no. We were just... Uh, I let him stay so he could have more time with the kids, but it doesn't seem to be working out. So no, I was asking, did, at some point, did you go to the court and say, that's my baby's daddy, and no. they put him on a custody, like, custody plan or time-sharing plan No. You know, from a judge, which just signed the order? No. All right. Now, uh, did drugs and alcohol play a role in this incident? I don't know. Can hear you? I don't know. You don't know? All right. All right, State, do you have any questions for the witness? Ma'am, um, are you in fear for your life? No. Uh, do you, are you afraid of the defendant? No. Is this the first time that this occurs? Yes. Um, if this happens again, will you call uh, law enforcement officers? Nothing further yet. Judge? 
Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, sir, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Counsel, you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Mr. Reynolds, in this case, I'm going to set your bond in the amount of $1,500, condition on your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You also may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Going to subject to run random drug and alcohol testing. I'm not going to take any action on your on your PTD case 2018 CT 4470 AO case. You have any questions about your no contact order? Uh, no, Your Honor. Um, I have a issue with the the bond. Unfortunately, I don't have a credit card. I don't have any cash, and I don't have. A point of contact as my phone died last night. Okay. So there's no way of me doing anything at this point. Right now, you have a lawyer representing you in this case. Um, she can, or she or he can work with the courts to get you released in a different manner. I feel uncomfortable. It looks like you're out on DUI supervision. According to the affidavit, you were still drinking when you were supposed to be not drinking. So I have serious concerns about whether you're able to comply with court orders anyways if I release, if I'll release some conditions. So you have a great day, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Mr. Rosado Figueroa, you're here in case 2022-MM1108 AO. On charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. You're going to set your bond in this case amount of $250. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from the victim. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about your no contact order, ma'am? No. All right, give me one second. All right, have a great day, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? David Santiago. Mr. Santiago, you're here in case 2022-MM86AA on charge of battery. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond in this case in the amount of $1,000. It's going to come with pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You ought to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. You have any questions about your no contact order, Mr. Santiago? I do. What questions do you have about the no contact order? Yeah, um, I was the victim, and then she became the victim, so we're both the victim, and we both reside at the same residence. So in the no contact order, if I go home to my home, she's also a, a defendant. Does she not come to my house? Only charge you, so you. They put her. They Baker acted her first. I don't. It was again. I wasn't there. I don't know. The only thing I have is you listed as the defendant. Yep. Her listed as the victim. Right. I have the order. The law tells me I need order that you guys have no contacts, and she's not here to tell me otherwise. Right. So she's Baker acted. As long as you guys aren't living together, you have no contact. We do live together. But you can't live together oh, right now. That's so who gets you. to go home? 
I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, you're uh, you can check with your PTR officer. Who's that? You go. You're going to get caught up with pretrial release before you leave. Okay. Maybe with your PTR officer when you go with law enforcement. Okay. Maybe able to clear that she's not there anymore. Yep. But if she comes back, we both lived there. You got. Uh, listen to me. My order is that you maintain a separate residence. Okay. This order is on you. If you fail to if you fail to comply with the order, it's not going to be an excuse to judge. I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be there. No, or no. Judge, I didn't know that we were supposed to, not supposed to be living together. Right. Because if you do that, the judge is going to say, you're going to nod their head, and they're going to be still sitting here on no bond, okay? Right. So don't just, no you're just on you to comply with the orders, okay? Right. All right, have a great day. All right, good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Niall Topgloom. Ma'am, we're here in case 2022-MM110AW on a charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Hello, my name is Cartel Topgloom and T-O-P-G-U-L. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. All right, you put your hand down, sir. Can you tell me how you know Ms. Topko? Uh, she is my mother. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? Yes, sir. Have you all had an incident, a previous instance of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. Say, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor, no questions. Um, I'm sorry. Am I, am I allowed to say something? Give me, let me get through the question and okay. then I'll give you a chance to speak. No, Your Honor. Uh, so Ma'am, one point of public defender represents you. Counsel, do you have any questions for the witness? I do not, Your Honor. All right, go ahead. Well, first thing I'll tell you, I can't drop the charges. I, it's up to the state of Florida whether the charges are going to be faced. I don't know what happened there, so I literally can't make a factual determination right now because we're not here for a trial. But you can tell me whatever you want to tell me, but I'll just let you know what, what was restricting me from what I can do. I understand. Um, I just wanted to note that uh, it is my fault. I was uh, being a disrespectful kid, and it's uh, I did not mean for it to, uh, to lead to this, if that makes any sense. All right, Ms. Topko, in this case, the court is going to set your bond amount of $250. I want to order that you have no hostile contact with your son. No hostile contact means this, no PTR, just $250. No hostile contact means this. You allow, as a parent, to be upset with your son. As a parent, you can be frustrated with the choices that he makes. You can be outside your mind about what the craziness is going on with him in your in your vision about what's going on. However, when you guys have an interaction with each other, those disagreements, those arguments that you have cannot become violent. They can become threatening. There could be no abusive language used with by you in that case. Because no matter whether he calls law enforcement, or in this case we have neighbors seeing and hearing what's going on, calling law enforcement, you will be arrested for violating my orders. It won't be about what's going on with him. It'll be about the contract that you had with me about what you told me you were going to do in this case. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be arrested, and you're going to be staying here on no bond. So don't do that. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You understand? Very good. All right. You have a great, have a great day, ma'am. Have a great day, sir. Your Honor. All right, uh, this 2022 CF 1967AO, I want to point the public defender to represent, uh, is there Adrian, or is Jeff Adrian, maybe? You want to waive his appearance? Um, just one second, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to court to find probable cause for his arrest. So the charge of grand theft motor vehicle, going to set his bond $2,500.
condition of the bond that he have no contact with any victims or witnesses, not operate a motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. Continues to be out on bond in Osceola County case 2019 CF 538 AO. And in that case, the court is going to find an on-view violation based on his arrest in this case. Going to set his bond in that matter at no bond. Going to appoint the public defender to represent him in all his cases. Does the, the Oscar case will be up to you? Royal? Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Kevin Arroyo. Mr. Arroyo, you're here in a few matters. The first one, let me show you an order. You're here in case 2021 CF 131 AO for a failure to appear warrant. You're also here in case 2022 CF 390 for violation of your sex offender registration requirements in two counts. You're also here in 2022 MM 109 AW for resisting officer without violence and false reporting law information to law enforcement. As to your misdemeanor cases, the court did find probable cause. Count one, bonds $500. Count two, $100. As to 2022 CF 390 AO, the warrant in that case, I believe, let me check. Set your bond and count one amount of $1,000, count two, $500. Condition of your bond in that case is that you have 48 hours from the time you're released from the Orange County Jail to report to the Sheriff's Office or the DMV as a violent sexual predator or sexual offender. You have a failure to appear warrant in 2021 CF 131 AO, another failure to register case. Bond in that case is amount of no bond. We're going to appoint a public defender to, rep to represent you in any case you're not already appointed. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Yes, sir. Trevon Bailey. Mr. Bailey, you're here in case 2022 CF 1956 AO on charge of possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. As to count one, the court is going to set your bond amount of $1,000. Count two, $100. Condition of the bond does not possess, consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Do not associate with any known drug dealers or drug users. You may not you be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. You're also out on bond in case 2020 CF, sorry, 2022 CF 220 AO. In that case, the court is going to revoke that bond. We're going to set a new bond in that case in the amount of $2,000 with the same conditions as this case. That you have no, not have any contact with any drug, known drug dealers or drug users. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Maybe you subject to RAM drug testing in that case as well. You also may want to talk to Judge Lattimore down the hall later this week about drug court because you seem like you may be having an addiction issue that you may want to try to get over. We're going to appoint a public defender to represent you in any case you're not already represented. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Ms. Mungerman, you're here in three cases for failure to appear warrants. Let me get through them all. I'm going to miss the judge. I... Hold on, hold on. I... You're here in 2020 CF 10541 AO for a failure to appear warrant. Bond in that case is no bond. You're also here in 2020 MM 304 AA. Failure to appear warrant. Bond in that case is $2,000. 
You also have a failure to a failure to appear warrant in case 2021 CF 4450AO. Bond in that case is no bond. We got a public defender to represent you in all those cases. You have a great day, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Juwan Faley. Mr. Faley, you're here in case 2022 CF 1943 AO. Sorry, I apologize. You're here in 2022 CF 1943 AO on a charge of carrying concealed firearm. You review the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Well, set you. Oh, sorry. I think your bond is already set. Saying your bond in that case amount two thousand five hundred dollars. Condition of the bond that you not operate that you not possess any weapons or firearms. Well, sorry, any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within twenty four hours of your release. <coughs> Which he's already seen on his other case. Okay, for the other the other charges. All right. All right, sir, you have a great day. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Alex Feliciano. Mr. Feliciano, you here in case two thousand 21 CF 7658 and for charges of sexual battery with a deadly weapon or course with physical force in count one and kidnapping in count two. It looks like the state filed the information in this case, charging 14 counts. Let me know what happened. Okay. Just, just, you guys want to let me know we're, we're going to set bonds on all the counts? If we can. All right. Counts one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Are all life offenses or no, sorry, sorry, no, counts one, two, four, five, six, and seven are all life offenses or punishable by life offenses. State, we ask that I do as those. No, by six now. counts. Sir, I want to point the public defender to represent you in this case. Counsel, do you have any response to the state's request? No, Your Honor. All right, so as to counts one, three, four, five, six, and seven, the court's gonna hold you at no bond. As a count two, we're gonna set your bond. Sorry, sorry, count three, I'm sorry, we're gonna set your bond in an amount of fifteen thousand dollars. Count eight, nine, ten, eleven are all gonna be ten thousand dollars. Actually, count twelve is another life offense, so I'm gonna hold you at no bond. Count thirteen is gonna set your bond amount of one thousand dollars, and count fourteen is gonna set your bond amount of five thousand dollars. Condition of the bond in this case is you're not allowed to return to the scene, that you have no contact with any victims or witnesses from this case, that you not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Say, are you asking for any other conditions? Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. All right, so you have a great day.
Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Denisha Harris. You said Harris? Okay. Was it also a man? Mm -hmm. LGBT? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Ma'am, you're here in case 2022 CF 1949AL on a charge of grand theft. They reviewed a charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond in this case in the amount of $1,000. Condition of the bond is you have no contact with any victims or witnesses and not return to the scene of the location which the incident occurred. Is this an Orange County probation case? No, it's, it's state probation. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it Orange County? Was it was the offense in Orange County? Okay. Yeah. Interstate yeah. compact. Yeah. One word. But she being supervised in Orange, though, right? Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. In this other case, uh, 2000, this interstate compact case, I'm not sure it's the right case number, though. Black and blue. That's the right case. No, she's on probation. She's just on an interstate compact from another, another state, transferred here to Florida. She's being supervised here, so she's governed by. Our laws, and she's here. She's on that charge of inter interstate compact. This for charge of aggravated battery. There's no qualifiers as a violent felony or offender, special concern. The court and has no discretion but to hold her in no bond on that violation of probation case. Because she's not entitled to a bond until her violation of probation is resolved. I'm going to point the public defender represents you, ma'am, in all your cases. You have a great day, ma'am. Yeah, I'm finding on-view violation. There's probation. I can't let her walk out the door. She's a violent felony offender, special concern. She's on probation. So we didn't have a violation of probation. Violating her right now. She's not going to be out of case. She's going to have a case here because she's in, she's in supervised here. No, for the violation of probation. I'm, I'm volunteering you right now because that's what Sunshine is. She's giving me a hard time. So is it 2020 or, or 2021? I'll look it up later. We'll stick with this. All right, Gathering, ma'am, can you tell me your name? Okay, ma'am. This man, you're here in case 2022 CF 1951 AO on charge of robbery, sudden snatching, battery, and petty theft. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. It's going to set bond to count one in the amount of $2,000, count two, 500, and count three. 500 condition of the bond that you have no contact with any victims or witnesses you not return to the scene the location where this incident occurred I'm going to point to I'm going to point the public defender to represent you in this matter you also not possess any weapons or firearms the weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release huh? 2,505 This is man. This man.
No, two thousand. Mm-hmm. Then five hundred. And then five hundred. All right, have a great day, ma'am. Mr. Marshall is here. Supposed to be here in case 2022 CF 1958L. Want to appoint a public defender to represent him? Your Honor, we waive his appearance. All right. I'm going to decord to find probable cause for a grand theft motor vehicle. Did going to set bond in that case $2,500. Condition of the bond, no contact with victims or witnesses from this case. He's, he, he's out on bond in 2022 MM393AO. We can revoke that bond, set bond on each count in the amount of one thousand dollars. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Your name, sir, please. Johnny McCray. Mr. McCray, you're here in case two thousand twenty two CF one nine five two AO on charge of grand theft motor vehicle. Yes. And, yep. Do we not have a case number for the no ballot? No case number. All right. So you're also being charged um, for in a traffic court case for a no ballot driver's license. You used your charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest in both cases. As to your no ballot driver's license case, set bond amount of $500. As to your Grant of motor vehicle case, set bond amount $2,500. Condition of bond in both cases, no contact with victims or witnesses, no operating motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. You're out on bond in an Osceola County case, 2021 MM 3257AO. Court find probable cause to commit a new law offense. You're going to revoke that bond. You're going to set a new bond in that case in the amount of Two thousand dollars. Condition that bond. You had no contact with the victim in that case. Have a good day, sir. All right, Captain Sir, can you tell me your name? Kendrick McGlone. Mr. McGlone, you here in case two thousand twenty-two CF one nine five three AO. On charge of driver license suspended as an official traffic offender. Did review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Must stay your bond to $2,500. No operating motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. We have the DR cases. Are you doing writs in here now? Sir? Are you? <laughs> All right, good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? My name is Brian Quigley. Sir, you're here in case 2022 CF1933AO on charges of burglary conveyance, possession of burglary tools, attempted burglary of conveyance, lowerly and prowling. Burglary of a conveyance, burglary of a conveyance, pay theft and pay theft. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Sir, so set bond count one, $3,500, count two, $500, count three, 500, count four, 100, count five, $500, count six, $500, count seven, $100, and count eight, $100. Condition of the bond that you not return to the scene of these locations, you not have any contact with any victims or witnesses, may not possess any weapons or firearms or, burg or burglary tools. Any of those things that you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Um, Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? 
So are you here in case 2022 CF1955AO on charge of possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia? They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. You think if interviewed, he would qualify? Um, we have to do interviews at the point of being arrested. What's the, Mr. Sanders, are you employed? Yes, sir. What was the last time you were employed? About six months ago. About six months ago, sir. All right, when you were employed, what were you doing? Uh, I was a construction worker. I worked for... C.H. Adams Flooring. All right. Where do you live? I'm homeless at the time. Say again? Homeless at the time. All right. My girlfriend. All right. Mr. Sanders, in count one, let's set your bond at $500. Count two, $100. Addition to bond, no drugs or alcohol, without valid prescription. No associated with any known drug deals or drug users. Okay. Don't point to public offender to represent you. You have a great day. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jamar Walker. Mr. Walker, you're here in two matters. The first one, 2022 CF 1938 AO, here on charge of possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of, uh, sorry, drugs of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. So I'll set your bond at count one, $500. Count two, $100. Condition not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. We told you that the Ram, no, sorry, not pursuing possession, not pursuing possession, consuming drugs, alcohol, or a valid prescription, not associated with any known drug deals or drug users. You're also here in 2021 CF 6979 AO for a failure to appear warrant. Judge in that case, set your bond in no bond. Your bond's going to remain in no bond. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in any case you're not already appointed. You have a great day, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Conditions, the conditions or the bond? Conditions. Um, no drugs or alcohol and no associated with any known drug deals or drug users. Your Honor, Roger Green, if nothing else. All right. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent Ms. Jean. Roger Jean, who's already appointed by you guys. Roger. MM six two thousand yeah, twenty-one MM six one eight nine. This is a different one. I don't have the affidavit right here, so I'm looking for it now. Thousand dollar bond, bonds are remain in set. <coughs> no, it's, that one I wasn't, it wasn't in here. Oh, okay. Your Honor, Clayton. Clayton Kelly, bonded. Okay. Judge Mental Health, I state the bond thousand dollars. Yes, he is. All right, Taylor. Bondage and O'Connor McDowell, lawful bondage. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Cynthia Corchado Villanueva. Ma'am, we're here in case 2022 MM 1106 AO on charge of trespass on property after warning. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. State you have an offer for the, in this case. Just a moment, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. In 
adjudication of guilt, credit for time served, and court costs, yeah. All right, ma'am, do you want to accept the offer from the state of Florida of an adjudication of guilt credit time, sir? Do you want to accept the offer? All right, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Be solemnly swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Are you going to speak up a little bit louder so I can hear you? Yes, sir. All right, you can put your hand down, ma'am. Ma'am, the charge you're facing is a first-degree misdemeanor punishable to one year in the county jail on a $1,000 fine. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to resolve this case? Yes, sir. Do you, want to, do, right, do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest? No contest. Do you understand about entering a plea of no contest? You're going to waive all the rights on the plea form you just signed. Yes, sir. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Like, I see you shaking your head, yes, but I can't yes, be able to hear you. Yes, there you sir. Go. Sorry. Are you on the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? No, sir. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No, sir. Do you understand about entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen? It could subject you to deportation from this country. Yes, sir. Did you have an opportunity to review your charging affidavit in this case? It did find a factual basis contained therein. I'm going to accept your plea of no contest. Finds your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to <clears throat> adjudicate you guilty of the charge. Give you credit for the two days you spent in the Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs in this case are $273. Give you one year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. <clears throat> I'm not going to take any action on your out on bond case, 2021 CF 15992AO. You have a great day, ma'am. Thank you. <clears throat> Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Alexis Jackson, sir. Mr. Jackson, you're here in case 2022-MM1105 AO on charge of trespass on property after warning. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Say, was there an offer to re resolve Mr. Jackson's case? An adjudication of guilt and court costs, um, credit Mr. for time served, yeah. Mr. Jackson, you want to accept the offer from the state of Florida of an adjudication of guilt, credit time served? Yes, sir. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Be a solemn and swear affirm. If, if, if you tell the truth, the whole truth, number the truth, so we got. You raise your hand down, sir. So the charge you're facing in this case is a first degree misdemeanor punishable to one year in the county jail and a thousand dollar fine. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest? No contest, sir. Do you understand about entering a plea of no contest? You're going to waive all your rights on the plea form that you're, that you're signing? Yes, sir. Do you understand you're waiving your rights on the plea form? Yes, sir. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? Yes, sir. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? No, sir. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No, sir. You don't say about entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen. It could subject you to deportation from this country. No, sir. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an opportunity to review your charging affidavit in this case. Did find a factual basis contained therein. I'm going to accept your plea of no contest. Find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to. Adjudicate you guilty of the charge, give you credit for the two days that you spent in the Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs and cost of prosecution in this case are $273. Give you one year to pay that money directly to the clerk. You have 
30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. You have a great day, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Coy Roberts. Mr. Roberts, you're here in case 2022-MM1031 AO on charge of battery. They reviewed the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. And Mr. Roberts, you have a mailing address? Um, I do, but I'm, I'm, I'm homeless right now. I gave my mother's address. All right, Mr. Roberts, we're going to set your bond, in this case, $500, condition on your bond that you have no contact with the victim, not return to the scene of the location where the incident occurred, may not possess any weapons or firearms, the weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. That's it. That's it. You have a great day. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, sir. My name is Jamarco. What's your last name? Simon. All right, Mr. Simons, you're here in case 2022-MM878A. Simmons, sir. Huh? Simmons, I'm sorry. Simmons, okay. Mr. Simmons, I was going off what you're telling me your name is, so. <laughs> Mr. Simmons, you're here in case 2022-MM878A on charge of petty theft. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Say was an offer to resolve this case. Just a moment, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. It's an adjudication of guilt court cost, um, the uh, impulse control cost. Um, credit for time served. So, who's going to supervise him and make sure he completes his impulse control class? Then, in that, in that case, the state would have no offer at this time, Your Honor. All right, sir, I'm going to stay, stay your bond in this case about $250. Condition your bond is not returned to the scene of location. No contact with any victims or witnesses. I'm going to appoint the public. Say again? I was going to set the bond at $250. Sorry. No contact with any victims or witnesses. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you, sir. You have a great day. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? William Patrick Tritchy. Mr. Tritchy here in case 2022-MM1104 AO on charge of possession of drug paraphernalia. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. Say you take any action on this case? I'm sorry, Yana. What was Are you taking any action as to this case? No, Your Honor. We're not taking any action at this point. All right. Uh, Tritchy is going to release you on your own recognizance. going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Have a great day. Right. Afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Christopher John Baptiste. Mr. Baptiste, you're here for a failure to appear warrant from Volusia County. 
bond in your case is two hundred and fifty dollars. You remain a set. I'm gonna appoint the public defender to represent you. Take me over to Volusia County, or you can post bond. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Ms. Brown, you're here in <coughs> sorry, 2021 MM 9511 for an out of county warrant from Pinellas County. Bond in that case is $5,026. Bond in that case is going to remain a set. I'm not going to take any action on your out of bond case you have here with us. But you have a great day, ma'am. <coughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Right. Ma'am, you are here in 2020 CT49, a case out of Seminole County. Judge in Seminole County, and both your counts in this case set your bond amount of $2,000 on each count. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you to get you over to Seminole County, or you can post bond. You have a great day, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Curtis Johnson, Your Honor. Sir, you're here in 2018 CF3171. Your Honor, can I get the defendant's name, please? Uh, this is Mr. Lawson, correct? This is our county. Okay. We have a BOP. All right, sir, it looks like you're here in 2018 CF3171, uh, case from Miami-Dade County, violation of probation. Bonds and notes to that amount, it is no bond, it seems to be a violent felony offender, special concern, sir, you're not going to be entitled to release or bail on bond until you are resolved your case in Miami-Dade. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you until you get you down to Miami-Dade. You have a great day, sir. I know it's going to take them to come. I, the way this world's working right now, your guess is as good as mine. Your Honor, Squire Sarah Sedlitz, Bonnie. Rogers. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Lawrence Rogers. Sir, you're here in case 2022-MM84AA on charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed a charging affidavit in this case. They find probable cause for your arrest. Mr. Rogers, do you have, you have a job? I just uh, recently lost a year of COVID. Okay, and do you have a place to stay where you live? Yes, sir. All right, what kind of work do you normally do? Well, I was in the, I had my lawn business first, my own lawn business, yeah. and then I got into the restaurant business. So. Well, as a server, as a manager, um, what were you doing? I work in the back, a uh, dishwasher, okay. my lawn sometimes. So I got to get back in the work. PTR, you with that? You think you would qualify? 
All right, yes, sir. I'll set your bond in this case in an amount of $1,000, condition of the bond that you have no contact with victims, the victim in this case, that you maintain a separate residence from the victim. I give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. So, even with the thousand dollars, how much can someone pay? I can't resolve the case without the victim being here. So, I cannot resolve the case without the victim here. Oh. And this looks like you charged with battery domestic violence. You got to complete a battery intervention course or mental health evaluation and treatment. A bunch of mandatory requirements on the statute. So. But I was need to talk to your lawyer about all those kind of things. Oh, but once I bond out, will the case be done? Nope. You gotta come. You gotta report. You gotta re a date on your paperwork to come I'm back. In Lake County, though, right. like it's gonna be difficult for me to get. You need to keep in contact with your attorney. If you keep in contact with your attorney, they can waive most appearances. So you can, but you need to keep in contact with them. If you lose contact with them, the judge issuing a warrant saying we don't know where you are. All right, Kathy Newell, sir, can you tell me your name? Rafael Diaz Rosa. Sir, you're here in a violation of probation case in 2021 CF 1830AO. Bond that case is no bond. The bond is going to remain in no bond. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Ricardo Garnett. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 2635AO on a violation of probation case. Bond that case is no bond. The bond's going to remain a set. I'm not going to take any action on 2021 CF 12523AO. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jacqueline Joyner. Joyner, you're here in 2020 CF 13465AO on a violation of probation. Judge in that case set your bond at $500, I believe. $5,000, I'm sorry. Bonds going to remain in set. Going to appoint a public defender to represent you. You have a great day. <laughs> I think I'm sorry, can you tell me your name? Harry Joseph Jermaine Jr. All right, sir, so you're here in 2020 MO. Sorry, 2022 MO195AO on a charge of possession or consumption of alcohol beverage in a prohibited area. They refused a charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. The city of Orlando usually offers a withhold of adjudication of guilt and court costs to resolve the case today if you would like to do that. Is that something you're interested in doing? Yes, sir. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, sir. Put your hand down. So the charge you're facing is a second degree misdemeanor, punishable about to 60 days in the county jail and a $500 fine. Do you understand? Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to this charge? No contest. Do you understand my area plea of no contest that you're going to, to waive all the rights on the plea form? Are you under influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? Yes, sir. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? Yes, sir. Has anybody forced, threatened, or forced you to enter this plea? Yes, sir. Do you understand my entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen and could subject you to deportation? Yes, sir. Do you have an opportunity to view your charging affidavit in this case? Do you find a factual basis for your plea? I'm going to accept your plea of no contest. Find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of the charge. Sorry, we're going to withhold adjudication of guilt. Give you credit for the two days you spent in the Orange County Jail. Court costs in this case are $225. Give you one year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. You have a great day, sir. Thank you, Owen. Yeah. 
from Mr. Moore? Yes, sir. Tell me your name, sir. Excuse me? Can you tell me your full name, please? Douglas Scott Mall, M U L L. All right. Sir, you're here in case 2022 MO196AO on a charge of open container. They reviewed a charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. You, the city of Orlando is using offer and withhold adjudication and guilt and court costs. Is that something you want to do today? The withhold the court costs to get out? Yeah. Yep. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter? The truth is the truth. The whole truth is nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, sir. You can put your hand down. Sir, the charge you're facing is a second degree misdemeanor. The maximum penalties for that are 60 days in the Orange County Jail and a $500 fine. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to resolve this case? No contest. You don't say about entering a plea of no contest, you'll be waiving all the rights on the plea form is in front of you. Yes, sir. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, sir. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? I have. What was that mental health illness? Depression and anxiety. All right. Are you taking any medications for your depression and anxiety? Yes, sir. Do those medications help you understand the world around you? Yes, sir. Are you suffering from any symptoms of your depression or anxiety at this moment? No, sir. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No, sir. You understand if you're not a United States citizen, it could subject you to deportation by, by entering this plea? Yes, sir. I did review your charging affidavit, did find a factual basis contained therein. I accept your plea of no contest, finds your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'll withhold adjudication of guilt. I'll give you credit for the two days you spent in the Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs in this case are $225. I'll give you one year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Have a great day, sir. Thank you, sir. Sunshine. Did I miss anything? Bond Court is a free service but it takes several hours of my time every day. Less than 10% of Bond Court viewers hit the like button, and less than 1% leave a comment. If you want Bond Court to continue to be available on YouTube for free then please hit the like button and leave a comment on all of my videos.